What's going on guys? Shane here. I'm here with Ryan Cafaro. We're going to show you guys uh, a way to set up the guillotine and a little tip to make sure that it's even tighter than usual. Ready, Ryan? Absolutely. So what we're going to go over here is defending the shot and then using your counter to set up the guillotine. So when your average fighter takes a shot and I defend it here, what I'm doing is I'm sprawling back. Now, most, especially wrestlers, their instinct is to put their arm on the shoulder to block it and then spin behind, which keeps your opponent from raising his arm up to defend it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him do it because it's gonna set up my arm and guillotine. So when he shoots and I sprawl, my next thing is to go directly in front of the arm on purpose. So when I spin, he blocks it with the arm. And that's okay for me because I'm going with an arm and guillotine. So I'm going over the armpit, over the neck as well, and then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide my knee in on an angle directly across his stomach. So right here. Notice my foot is hooking around his hip and then the other leg is coming right on top to keep him from jumping over. From here, all I wanna do is just sit in and crunch in. A lot of people think that you wanna arch backward, but if I arch backward, Shane has a good chance of popping his head out, even with these huge dreadlocks. <laughs> So let's try that again. So instead of arching back, I'm gonna crunch in and try to get my head above his and squeeze. And that's what gets the tap a lot quicker. Good. Yeah, so what was that? Uh, yeah. So when we're in that position. Right. So instead of, most people are going for that gable grip. Right, so a lot of people with the guillotine are going for your, your basic grips here of like locking their hands in a couple different ways. Now my two favorite variations the first one is I'm actually using my fingers and I'm grabbing on the inside of my own glove. I'm pretty sure that's allowed because the referee will say don't, you know, no fingers in the gloves, but they never say anything about fingers in your own gloves. In addition, you're in the middle of a submission. It's not like they're going to say, you know, stop that submission. So you can grab your own trunks, you can grab your own gloves. So when I have the guillotine, we'll just do a standing version from here. So you can see, normally if I'm here, sometimes my opponent can like fight my fingers off a little bit better or sometimes I can't pull all the way tight. But here what I'll do is I'll just take my fingers, I'll knife them directly on the inside of my own glove, and then from here I can pull it and just make it really, really tight. The other variation, which I'm not really sure a lot of people have figured out yet, is sometimes I won't even use an actual lock with my hands. Instead I'll just turn, ball my hands up into fists, and curl them over like I'm pouting, like a little gangster stance, <laughs> or something, I don't know. So, what I'm doing here now, is I'm just taking my hands, making fists, and I'm crossing them. So this way, even if my partner is trying to peel my fingers off, it doesn't matter because the fingers aren't doing anything. In addition, there's far less amount of space between you and your partner, so the oxygen is gonna get cut off really quickly and the, the choke is gonna come on very fast. So that's the two different variations. Hook your fingers on the inside of your own glove, make fists and curl them, and really sit back and squeeze into it. All right, guys, well, there you have it. You've been asking for more submissions, more grappling, more takedown defense. Be sure to check out Ryan Cafaro on Instagram and on Twitter at Ryan Cafaro MMA. He's got a fight coming up probably around November, November at CFFC, right? So Absolutely. be sure to keep an eye on him and look out for his next victory. Until next time, I'm Shane. This is Ryan. Self-defense for the underdogs.